It's probably the most demanding endurance event that a lot of us will ever do in our lives. So 6% of athletic performance research done between 2014 and 2020 focused on women. And you know the amount of that research that's done in key subpopulations uh, is, is really pathetic. Now, one of the concerns with pregnancy is making it to term. Being a mom myself, I know that during pregnancy, there can be a lot of questions. Now, we haven't seen much change in innovation and technology when we look at if someone is going to predictively go into preterm labor, but I do feel feel with uh, some of the technology that we are seeing and data and research that we are getting to a better point. So we partnered with West Virginia University to do a study on pregnancy and it took them three years to track 18 pregnancies and when we looked at that data we saw this really interesting pattern where heart rate and heart rate variability sort of generally get worse throughout pregnancies until about 33 weeks gestational age. A typical pregnancy is about 40 weeks and then all of a sudden they invert and they start to get better. But in that study, there were only 18 people, so we weren't sure exactly what was going on. To kind of give you a sense of what WHOOP enables, we get these naturally occurring longitudinal data collections at a scale that's completely unimaginable in academic research. And so when we did our larger study and we had 1,200 pregnancies, what we found is that heart rate variability in pregnant people in their third trimester looks different for women who go on to have preterm births. So what that means is that we have an indication about whether or not they're going to have a premature baby or if they're going to have a full-term baby. To be able to tell women for the first time, hey, we're seeing things that indicate you need to maybe talk to your doctor because this might be coming early. I mean, that's an unbelievable discovery. We have a huge opportunity in women's health. All of us in healthcare have a huge opportunity that we've missed for years. And so we have a responsibility as a company, we have a responsibility as a country to develop more resources, money, time, and focus on women's health. WHOOP is definitely going to be at the forefront. One of the things that was really important to us in taking this research is was bringing it into the product. The first thing that you're going to see is this kind of trend line of what these 1200 pregnancies look like week by week but also trimester by trimester including the postpartum period and sort of what recovery typically looks like we're also building out a richer and more complete ecosystem the whole experience around your pregnancy i didn't have my whoop data uh, for my first baby so it was a lot of just do things by feel so i think this time around it's been nice to have a little bit more data to kind of feed into the decisions I'm making. We feel a deep responsibility to invest in women's health and research. I mean, it's been criminally underinvested in, actually. And this pregnancy discovery is, I think, the beginning of hopefully many interesting discoveries specific to women's health.